This is a ViewSonic VP211B 21 inch monitor and it has a problem. I've repaired several of these monitors and the most common problems in this monitor are either a backlight failure which is caused by a failure in the inverter specifically blown fuses on the inverter and the other most common problem are bad capacitors in the power supply. Um, I've made a, a separate video uh, detailing the repair of a power supply problem. This video will be detailing the inverter problem. So we will open up this monitor and show what the problem is. Now, what if we have an inverter problem? In other words, we have power but no backlights. We're going to approach it that way. The first thing we will need to do is remove this shielding from the power supply and main boards because that's locking this shield in place. This shield is covering the inverter. Four screws on the main shield, one, two, three, and four. The four screws have been removed. Now this um, shield is held, held on by several little tabs, you know, all along here. And what you need to do is pull the pull the board this way to get it, release it from the tabs, and then you can remove the shield. Now we can remove this shield. Again, we have little tabs. It's a matter of sort of pulling it this way, and off it comes. The most common problem with the inverter are blown fuses. If you suspect that you have a bad fuse on your inverter board, you can test it without removing the board from the monitor. The uh, fuses are located right here and right there, F1 and F2. You can just put your ohm meter right across it and look for an open. Okay. If either one of those is open, it's going to prevent the inverter from working. Now, if you do find an open fuse and you need to remove the board, it's easy enough to do. You just have this connector to the main board. You've got this one screw right here, and then you've got one, two, three connectors to the backlights on the upper side of the monitor, and one, two, three connectors to the inverters on the lower side of the monitor. Just disconnect all of that and you will have the inverter in your hand. This is a photograph I took of the uh, inverter board of the VP211B uh, monitor and I annotated those two fuses F1 and F2 with red circles. This is a very common failure with this monitor. I would say I, I've repaired several of these monitors and almost every time it was this problem. Blown fuses on the inverter board. These fuses are 2 amp. You could use either fast blow or very fast blow. They are 1.5 millimeters long and 1.0 millimeters wide and 0.5 millimeters in thickness. This is also known as case style 1206. This type of fuse is available from Little Fuse. Here we have a web page, uh, Little Fuse. 
and their surface mounted uh, ceramic fuses in the 440 series. Here's the two amp fuse right there. This would probably be the one. Uh, this is another page. Here we see the dimensions of this fuse. And um, the marking code would be an N. There would be an N on this two amp fuse. I have repaired several of these ViewSonic VP211 monitors using this very fuse. When I purchased this fuse, I got them from Newark Electronics. And here is their page describing this same fuse. And you can order directly from here if you need to get them. Here is what the uh, inverter board looks like when the um, fuse has been replaced with one of these new ceramic uh, fuses. And you see the, little, the letter N on it indicating that it's a two amp fuse. These original fuses fail with such high frequency. Uh, it seems to be a problem with the fuse itself rather than drawing too much current because once you replace them with these new fuses, they don't blow again. So it seems to be the problem is intrinsic to the fuse rather than, rather than any uh, actual overcurrent problem. The blown fuse on the inverter board is the most common problem I've encountered on this particular monitor. In fact, I have repaired five of these monitors and four of them had um, blown fuses on the inverter board. A very easy fix. So if your backlights are not coming on, check F1 and F2 first. And there's a good chance that'll be your problem. Okay, that's it.